Okay, I'm bored. Maybe erasing half of the population wasn't such a good idea. Looks like it might take a while to find you a new mommy, Gamora. It's okay. I still love you and think you're the greatest dad, especially now that half of all dads are dead. Ah, oh, thanks, little one. Thanos! Huh? We're here to stop your reign of terror and... Uh, are we interrupting something? Oh, uh... <clears throat> oh, thank Thor you're here. I was so bored. Are you sure this is a good time? We can come back later. No, no, I'll just rewind time later. It's no biggie. You were saying something about stopping me? No, oh, right. <clears throat> this time, we have a secret weapon! She is the most powerful superhero in Marvel history! Um, you mean second most powerful. Presenting Captain Marvel! Uh, where is she? Oh, hello! Hello, peasants! Hello! Hello, you renting peasants who don't own your own property, even though I don't own my own property either, so I'm a peasant too, but that's okay. Hi. Friends, welcome to another Friday stream. And gosh darn it, I just want to decorate some homes today. I just want to put some furniture in a house and then rent it for a very high price. And you have no choice but to live in said house and pay me as much as I want, because today we are playing, it's true, the tenants again. I haven't played the game in probably a month at this point, over a month, and I miss it. I miss it and I want to be, uh, again, pretending that I actually own property. And I think it's going to be very fun. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be playing the tenants for the next two hours and so minutes, so and so. And it's, you know, going to be a wonderful experience. Mrs. Mafia is back. She's more powerful than ever. She's hungry for deals. She's hungry for tenants. And of course, Uncle Fartas is here as well. And he just wants to get a house and clean it up and make some money, even though I can't, I, he can't make any money at all. So, I think we should start gaming right now, because um, that's what we're here for. Uh, my camera will be, dis be disabled while playing this game, because the camera just lags when this game's playing a little bit. Uh, in fact, I feel it's already lagging a little bit already, but, you know, what, what can you do about it? What can, what's she going to do about it? So, I'm going to switch to my gaming layer. And I will see you when the clock strikes, I don't know, you'll still see me. If you're around by the end of the stream, I will be back and we can chat for a little bit. How about that? How about that? Anyway, let's start gaming, shall we? There it is. One thing that I love about this game is the fact that I can just use my keyboard and, you know, everything just works great. So I'm going to put the music back up. Um, let me make sure you can hear that. I think you can. Maybe I can even actually put the music just a tiny bit 
higher. Yeah, that should be good. I think that's gonna be great. Let's leave it like that. And let's start playing. I haven't played this game, like I said, since a long time ago. Um, and apparently they did some updates. But, you know, it should be okay. It should be okay. Um, can't imagine what's going to happen between these two. Um, so, yeah. There's been some updates. Uh, and they say that they might have changed my save data a little bit. But hopefully it's nothing too bad. And we can pick off right where we left off. Uh, I think last time I got a second renter. So I think I own two houses now, from what I remember. So that's something that is wonderful and great. Um, hopefully, yeah, there we go. We unlocked some new items, cozy bathroom. Gosh, gosh, isn't it nice to have a cozy bathroom? Okay, and we got a text message already from Ruben, who is our second tenant. Uh, he sent us some money, which is good because if you don't pay Mrs. Mafia, you die. Um, all right. So let's see here. Um, we probably want to take some more jobs. We have a nice savings here of 30,000 bucks. Boy, that sounds nice. Um, and let's go do what do we want to do. What do we want to do? We, we have a lot of experience points too. Let's look at jobs. This is a high paying job. Total makeover, the budget is $14,000. I say we accept it. Let's try it. It is it is intense, uh, but we're just gonna try best. So let's start by cleaning. Oh, Uncle Fartas. Oh, God damn, Nabit, I'm just gonna clean some water stains cause these people just, you know, one of these days, I hope I get paid for this stuff. Probably not today, though. They told me not to get into a family business, yet here I am. But you did a good job, Uncle, because you just fixed that uh, monitor. So get out of here now. Thank you very much. Leave. All right. Goodbye, then. See you next time. I love you, granddaughter. I hate you. Um... All right, let's start renovating this house. We have to literally put everything in this house from a kitchen to a bedroom to a uh, bedroom to a bedroom. So let's start with let's start with a bedroom. Why the heck not? We probably need to put some walls too because uh, Let's put... Can I put walls? Oh, they want a certain type of wall. Oh, wait, no, I have to build first. I have to build a wall. All right, let's make some divisions here. Uh, I'm gonna decorate, try to decorate this house uh, half seriously, I guess. So let's put a the wall there. Let's put a wall there. Let's put a wall there. Let's put a wall there. There will be a bathroom, I guess. Um, and then we will make... Uh, this space will be a bedroom. And... That's gonna be a big living room. They don't want necessarily. Hold up.
I don't want necessarily to have an extra room, so we're just gonna do it like this. Let's start decorating. Uh, Ross and Eri is here. Hello, Ross and Eri. And Bacon Eggs is here too. Hello, Bacon Eggs. How are you today? Uh, we're just decorating a nice home today. Let's start with the bedroom, like I said. Uh, shower cabin. Oh, I guess I have to put doors. <laughs> I guess you kind of need doors to enter the bedroom and leave. I guess that sort of makes sense. Um, let's put an extra door here. And that way, they, they can have access to the bedroom right from their bedroom. I think that's wonderful. Uh, okay, we got three doors. Uh, Bacon eggs, you're doing well. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm doing well as well. I'm decorating a house. Finishing a day's work by playing some tenants, which is lovely. I like to pretend that I have the capacity to own a lot of property. All right, let's give them a pigeon shower cabin because that's what they deserve and nothing more. Um, and let's give them a fancy toilet. Oh, fancy toilet. This toilet is literally called a fancy toilet. It's kind of expensive, but apparently they really want it. So let's put it here. And a bathroom sink, but of course, of course we'll get them a bathroom sink. Uh, bedroom sink could go... Where do we want to put that? Uh, um, by the window? Why not? Why not? And the toilet brush. Apparently they want a fancy toilet brush, which is a choice. It's a choice. Uh, let's put it there. And toilet paper, because as we know, as we know, it's totally normal for when you are uh, getting someone a home and you're renting, it's only totally normal to buy toilet paper for your renties. Okay, let's check what does she want. Uh, you got rats running around your apartment, but well, we'll send the uncle. Oh, Uncle Fartas. I don't like doing this, but we have no choice but to handle this situation. Uh, let's put it here. It's amazing the amount of uh, rat infestation these houses get, huh? I don't know why. Put another trap in there. Uh, I got beaten by one. I need a tetanus shot right now, please. Oh, please. Oh my goodness, how many? Call animal control. All right. Go on, little mouse. All right. Yeah, no problem, Polly. No problem at all. No problem at all. Uh, Uncle, you can leave now. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back to the renovation that we were doing, huh? Because that's what I'm here for. Uh, let's do it. All right. All right, where were we? Okay, finish floors of the bathroom. Nice tile floor. Oh, you're so fancy. Man, these people are going to get a great house. I have to say that. I have to say that. Being serious here, I'm decorating this one appropriately. Uh, the next one, I don't know. The next one, I might take some liberties and do uh, something different. But with this house... Uh, you know that I mean business. You know that I mean business. Okay, the bathroom's done. Uh, let's go to do the 
kitchen, I guess. Oh, whoops. I just realized, well, nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're gonna get, I actually put the bathroom in the room that was going to be the bedroom. But you know what? They're just gonna have to live with that, I guess. It's not my fault. Uh, all right, let's get uh, these beds. Maybe I need to make some more space for the. Actually, okay, fine. We're gonna we're gonna do a little change here. We're gonna do a little change. I'm gonna destroy this wall. Demolish, 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 demolish. No, that one I wanted actually to keep. Uh, let's put the wall. There we go. And let me paint it again. Uh, the that's the bedroom and that's fine. Uh, we're gonna make a bigger space for the bedroom. So let's put some walls here. And that will be a big bedroom, I think. Uh, oh, and let's put a, a door. I guess you need to escape from the bedroom in case something goes wrong. We'll put a door here. And we'll put a door there. And we're gonna get a bed. gonna get a, a nice double bed seems like more than enough you know like I don't think they need a fancy room they already got a fancy bathroom uh... ah! oh what happened why don't I get notifications on the chat that's not on the thing something happened let's take a look what happened? Let me go. Samantha GGM96. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it very much. And uh, welcome. What's this? A lead tree? Oh, I get it. They want that on top of the bed, of course. And a dream catcher. Yeah, that makes sense. These people seem like the type of people that they want to have dream catchers. Uh, on the uh, bed uh, but thank you so much Ament. I hope you're doing well if you're out there I don't know let's put the dream catcher here I know it's supposed to be above the bed but you know what they're just gonna have to deal with it they want to catch some dreams they're gonna have to go a little further okay they want the floors they want them to be green so let's make it green let's make it green um and the walls, they want them to be green as well. These people, uh, green, I guess. It's very, it's a very green room, but that's what they want. That's what they get. Um, okay, that's the basic of the room. Uh, let's go to the kitchen now. They're gonna have a big, big kitchen. I wonder if I can put a separation and make uh, a living room and a kitchen. Let's start with just putting stuff. Uh, let's put that there. Still can't get used to the word cooker. I just can't. Uh, that's too close. That's gonna block the bridge. Let's move that into the other wall into the other wall uh samantha uh thank you for saying hello uh how are you doing i'm glad you're doing well i'm doing well too and we're happy to have you here we're just decorating some houses uh, i don't know if you're a homeowner uh or not but uh, i am the landlady here my name is Mrs. Mafia, and yeah, I am available to decorate houses in real life. 
If you want to hire me, my rates are, let's see, what's the fun number for decorating someone's home? Uh, what's a fun number? I don't know. A thousand dollars per hour. How about that? My rates are very competitive. And... You know, they don't say they need anything else in the kitchen, but this feels like a very sparse kitchen. Let's at least give them something to watch television, because that's a, a TV. So let's give these people, give them what they want. I'm going to give them a couch. I say they need a couch. Yeah. There you go. Now you can watch your television. Samantha, this game is great. It's like a Sims, but you also do construction and you have to manage tenants. This game is really fun. I recommend it to all of y'all. Oh, let's get them a nice little picture of a flower. They're not allowed to have any, but... Oh, and of course, a Super Mario Brown picture as well. I say this house is ready to be delivered, so... we Are we done? Oh, don't make me put more decorations. I don't wanna. I'm gonna deliver the job as it is. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, let me check. Make sure... I don't know that this guy likes the decoration. Okay, we just got... We just received the rent money, which is nice. Let's take a look. Yeah, give us that sweet, sweet uh, income. Gosh, it must be nice, you know. Here you are, you're a landlord. You know, you're hanging out. And at the end of the day... At the end of the month, you're like, Oh, money! Money has just entered my account, wonderful! Right, I feel this guy didn't get too pleased with the job. He gave us a three stars, three star rating, asshole. Uh, it's okay. I might have expected too much, but I guess this new looks, new look of the flat is all right. Well, get someone else, you peasant. Get someone else to do your dirty job for you, cause I refuse to help you again. Uh, what do I need to manage? Manage. Uh, yeah, let's remind him that he needs to pay up and Polly let's demand payment now let's remind her oh, oh actually she's good so we don't need to do anything with her she's good Polly's been a very respectful uh, person yeah check this out I've noticed you still haven't paid this week's rent oh, I'm so sorry I'll get it right away talk about uh, a threat you don't even need to say anything Mrs. Mafia knows how to get the job done. All right, what other fun jobs do we have? A bedroom for our kids. Oh, please give me that. I'm gonna do it. What's what we need to do here? Uh, bedroom for the kids. Ah, well, you know, you know, I got great ta taste for uh, kids. Uh, decoration room thingy. Uh, which kid doesn't want to have a Vegas themed uh, floor? I think that's just I think that's just pleasant, you know? Like, I think we just have to be uh, and stripped green? Why not? Then we can write the words Red Ram, Red Ram, all over the wall in red and it will really pop out. I think that's gonna be great. Oh, I painted the wall that was not supposed to be painted. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I guess I need to fix that, huh? Uh, what color is that wall? That's not the color, is that the color? Yeah, that's the color, that's all good. Um, what poster do they have? House flipper, yay. Yeah. All right, apparently there's gonna be two kids living in this room. Um, we don't know if they're boys or girls, but to be honest, it doesn't matter, you know? We're gonna go for just gender-neutral 
uh, color. So let's put a bed on each side. Oh, let's move one a little bit here. I guess blue would be... Well, are they aligned perfectly? I need to have some symmetry because as you know, my OCD prevents me from... Uh... Oh, where am I going to put this desk for their homework? Oh boy, what's going on with the camera? Everyone's going crazy. I guess we'll move the bed just a little bit to the side. Oh, was there an earthquake? I think there was an earthquake because I got a, a, an achievement unlocked. The aftershock. All right. A laptop. Kids these days with their gaming laptops, I swear to God. I swear, kids with their gaming laptops, they need to be... Whatever happened to just playing outside in the street? Whatever happened to that? Uh, they want a dresser. We'll give them a dresser. Should each kid have a dresser? I think so. It's only fair, right? Yeah. Wait, why is that not acceptable? Why can't their dresser be there? Okay, why can't the dresser be there? Huh? You peasants. Let me put the dresser there. Why the heck not? Curse you, peasants. And a wall shelf, that's fine. Where are we gonna put that? Uh, put it there. Does the other kid... I guess both kids should have like, you know... Yeah, let's put that there. And let's move this here. That way they each get one. Because we don't play favorites with our children. In this house, we, do, we don't play... We don't play favorites with our children. We are... What do my freaking tenants want? What are they complaining about? Oh, you gotta help me. During the recent earthquake, a few walls got damaged and I don't know what to do. All right. Time to send uncle. Uh... Fix stuff, Uncle. That's what you're here for. Yeah, fix that up. Fix that up. Oh, I have so much work. This isn't fair. Uh, let's go fix that too. Where is it? Oh, there's that crack. Man, I, for I had forgotten how I decided to... <laughs> When I remodeled this house, I, I forgot that I decided to put um, uh, the stove next to the treadmill and, you know. Uh, okay, Uncle, you're done here. Get out. And now let's also fix... Uh, where is she? Uh, let's send our Uncle as well. Fix that stuff. Uncle Farted is very competent, so you know he's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna fix this wall up here. These cracks are all over the place. I guess this shows that the construction wasn't very good from the beginning because, you know. But then again, we bought this house in Walmart, so you know it's never meant to be a serious thing. You know what they say, if you're a landlord and something cracks or breaks, just throw another layer of paint, another coat of paint over the place and you'll be just fine. No consequences. All right. You're done, uncle. Get out of here. All right. Goodbye, everybody. All 
All right, let's go back to our renovation project. Always so much to do in this game. They don't give you a moment's break, now do they? Uh... All right, let's keep renovating. So what was I doing here? Oh yeah, the kids. I was debating giving the other little kid um, also some addresser but apparently I can't because I'm already over budget uh, they want darts and dumbbells why would little kids need dumbbells in their room that makes no sense well the, the, the darts are too expensive so let's give them dumbbells at least and I'm gonna say that's done I don't want to do anything that's the lever uh, what else do I need to do oh I need to put a small decoration and small decoration and a plant uh, I guess a globe is nice for the kids they get to learn stuff yeah Look, Ma, I learned where Zimbabwe is. And a uh, plant, because, yeah, sure, little kids will totally take care of the plant. No doubt about that. Okay, now we're done. Get me out of here. I hope you like it. I don't know how you're going to sing through the wall, but that's fine. All right, what do you want, Polly? Why? Man, Polly's being a very nice tenant. She's sending us money rapidly. Uh, Ruben, I'm starting to think that you... Yeah. Let's see what we got. A four star. Well, that's good enough, I guess. At least we didn't get a three star like that moron back there. All right. Well, well, what else do we want to do here? Uh, let's say that. Good. Um, let's find more jobs. Josh. Let's find Josh. Uh, I want... Oh, a college kid's room. That sounds fun. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And uh, that I don't want to do. Uh, not fail. I don't want to do that job. Let's start. Oh man, this house is huge. <laughs> Wait, this house is huge, but their their only furniture, the preferred furniture is a fan, which is hilarious. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. Two bedrooms, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, I guess. Uh, where to begin even, geez. So this is the corridor. Let's start by painting the walls. I guess if you're coming in, this looks like it would be a bedroom. So let's do that. Uh, let's finish the floors. They want laminated floors. Laminated floors. That's a very tiny space for a bedroom, but you know, we'll try it. <laughs> they want red walls, which I think red walls for a bedroom is is a bold statement, I would say. Pretty bold statement. Uh, that's the outside. That's not... Okay. Uh, this is going to be a tight fit. I wonder if I can actually fit anything in here. Uh... 
I wonder if there's enough space. I don't know that there is. I don't know that there's enough space here for... A bedroom. It's gonna be a super tight space. Can we make it fit? Let's get them a very basic sink because there's no, there, there isn't space for really anything else. Uh, toilet paper, of course, because why wouldn't I be in charge of giving people toilet paper? That just makes sense. Maybe this game was created in like Australia or something and that's common there. I don't know. Okay, a towel rack. Let's put it there. Okay, well, the bedroom's done, so it's a tight bedroom, but I guess it fits, and if it fits, I see it. Uh, let's do this bedroom next. Uh, this will be a bedroom for sure. I don't know why they want a fridge and a microwave in the bedroom, but... You know, sometimes it's best not to just... Best not to question things, I guess. They also want red walls. Well, by all means, they're gonna get red walls. Talk about uh, the shining, huh? I mentioned red rum before, but apparently it's in this house that we have to worry about. Uh, let's put a bed there. And. They want a fridge. I guess, look, in a bedroom, you don't want a full fridge. Maybe a mini fridge, like in an hotel room. Oh, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe this house is going to be an Airbnb. That's what I think is happening right now. And the microwave, which apparently I don't need to put on a table or anything. I can just leave on the ground. Uh, that's acceptable. Maybe we can get a little... I don't know, something to put the microwave on. Uh, no, not that. What can we put? Maybe a little counter? I just don't like the microwave on the floor. You know? I think the microwave should be on top of something. So let's put it there. Okay. Uh, next room. Let's take care of this one. Polka dots, of course. Man, these people want some tacky furniture, let me tell you that. But who wants red and gray walls? If anyone watching this has red and gray walls, then that's fine. But I'm just saying it's a little off-putting, I feel, to have both red and gray walls. Feels like a big color contrast there. All right, they want a bed, so let's give them a bed. Uh, a wine double bed, yeah. That seems appropriate. And they want a desk. I feel that if I put the desk here, it might block the bed. Apparently not. Let's move the bed a little bit closer to the door here. And they want the chair. How about a nice, simple chair? I don't feel the people in this house are gamers, so they don't need a good chair. They don't need a good chair. They can have bed pain. 
They can have that thing. Um, oh, what? Is it blocking something? Uh, maybe I have to move the bed. Maybe I have to move the bed. Let's put the bed here. Move the desk. Over here. And let's move the chair here. Okay, that works. Although now the now the bed is uh, Give me a break. There's enough space for the bed and for fine, maybe there isn't, but you know. There. And a laptop. Maybe they are gamers after all, but you know what? They're just gonna get an office laptop because they're working from home. They're working from home, they are. All right. Uh, now this is gonna be another bedroom. Apparently they want a bed, like there's a lot of people living in this house, I don't know. You know what? I bet this is, one, this is a New York home where you have like 10 people living in the same house to, to be able to afford the rent. And sadly, that's just how it is. But that's what happens when you live in the big city. So actually, probably they don't need that big of a bed. Let's get them something a little... I don't know. More economic, I guess. Something a little bit more economic, I say. And... Television. Oh, we have to finish the walls. Nothing like a good poop brown to make things. Actually, there's more of a diarrhea brown, but you know. Again, when you live in New York City, you can't really complain. And actually, this gives me an idea, which is maybe we can move the bed. And place it so that they'll be able to watch television. Actually, let's give them a bigger bed. I feel they deserve it. I feel they deserve a bigger bed. And we're gonna be actually nice. They want a couch. watch television and they want a television television uh, which we're gonna get them um, this flat screen seems fine I don't think they deserve more than that uh, I would like to put something in their Like, the television on the floor seems like a flawed thing because they'll have to look down to watch television, and that's not fun. So maybe we can get them a little bed. Uh, sorry, not a bed, like a stand or something. Let's give them a... Yeah, let's give them a cabinet. And we're gonna move the television over here. And we're gonna move the cabin over there. And we're gonna put the television on top of the cabin. It fits. Which it doesn't. Okay, let's sell this one. Let's get them a bigger one. And let's put the television on top. I guess I'm blocking the window this way, so we don't wanna do that. Let's move it to the side a little bit. Let's move it over here. And the television goes over there. Uh, uh, and let's move the bed here. Okay, I need to renegotiate something with my tenants. Uh, he's paid, so that's good. Uh, Oh, the bank has come for me, oh no. I think your ten tenant started to cook meat at your unit. I'm not sure what to do about this. Uh, I think you're overreacting. 
<laughs> My tenants are not cooking meat. What are you talking about? Oh, let me renegotiate. Uh, I wanna... How do I renegotiate with my tenants? even start on that house I don't know oh my god <laughs> so she is actually cooking meat oh no <laughs> thanks for not ratting me out Mrs. Mafia hey no problem I just want to cut off the deals um, I wanna I guess I have to finish these cells first, that's fine. Uh, we have to finish these first. What was I doing? Why is this not... Oh, I'm still in the... That's why. Never mind. That's, that's because I'm still in the menu decorating. What was I doing in this house? I totally forgot. Uh, I finished those things. Oh, they wanted fans. Uh, would that be considered a special item? What would it be considered? A ceiling fan. Do they want just a ceiling fan? What do they want? Our clocks, bathroom stuff. I would think ceiling fans would be under the specialty category. Apparently not. Where does one get fans? Can't be considered a decoration. can't be considered a decoration, I don't think. It doesn't make sense. Eh, just gonna finish it. Enjoy your house. I don't have any fans to give you, friend. All right. Now let's negotiate with him. Do we want him? Uh, he hasn't been the best tenant, I guess. Vanity. Uh, Peasant house. Is this property's name? Whoa. No. Uh, let's negotiate an extension for sixty days, and let's bump it for. Let's bump his rent a little bit because you know what? It's been a year. Mm. I'll give you. Stop lowering the price, you peasant. Oh, he's in the toilet. Let's leave him alone. <laughs> At least he's paying his rent now, so I guess I can't complain too much. All right. What else do we want to do? Another three-star review. Screw you. I put my heart and soul into these houses. Mrs. Mafia tries her hardest, and she doesn't get anything for it. 
All right, let's look for some more jibs. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, he's out for work. That's what it is. Um, this seems like. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. And time to start cleaning. It's a big, open, I guess, condo complex. Here I am scrubbing the floor again, back in the Big Apple, New York City. Uh, okay. You know, I actually live in Albany, which is very far away. Uh, can you at least pay for my ride? Don't think so. Oh, we have to again break things down and build walls. Let's build some walls. Um... So we need a bathroom, a kitchen, and a bedroom. Hmm. This will be... Actually, let's demolish this one. Uh, no, let's do that. This will be a bathroom. This will be a bedroom. This will be the entrance. Uh, oh, we can put a wall there because it blocks the radiator. I mean, I guess I could just destroy the radiator, but we're not gonna do that. Um, we'll make... Um, we'll make this the kitchen. Yeah. I wonder if I actually have to destroy walls in order to... Sometimes it's nice to have an open kitchen that connects to the living room. So I, I think that uh, we're gonna move this a little bit over here. What's blocking the path of this item? Nothing's blocking the path of this item. What are you talking about? Are they... Don't tell me it's because of this wall. That would be stupid. No, it's not. Apparently, I can't have a, a wall there because the radiator does not... The radiator can't be there. Or, yeah. Okay. So we'll make the kitchen an open space because that sounds fun. Uh, let's start with the... Let's start with the bedroom. Uh, I don't like this color, but oh wait, wait! If this is the bedroom and we make this the kitchen, hmm. This should be a bedroom. Yellow colors for a wall. This is gonna be a very brownish. This is gonna be a very brownish room, but that's okay. I say that's okay. I say you peasants are lucky to even get a home in the first place. why they're not accepting that it's already painted I don't know why they're I 
don't want to worry about that right now. I don't know why they're not considering this a bedroom. Oh my god! Oh man, this is a bad cock. La cucaracha infestation. Uh, Drums41, hello! Hello from down under. From the land down under. How are you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just making, you know, taking care of some cockroaches. Or la cucaracha, as we call them. Right, uncle, get out of there. You know, I'm actually not quite sure all these chemicals are good for me. I don't know that they're that great. Okay, well, you can leave now. Oh, radiation. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um... All right, we need to figure out this house because they keep saying that the bedroom is not the right uh, one, and I don't know why. I think they're tripping. I mean, why can't this be the bedroom? Huh? They say kitchen not fa found, bathroom not found, and is it because I didn't put doors? I swear, if it's because of that. Okay, there we go. And that can be a bathroom. And I guess we have to make one of these rooms a kitchen, because apparently we can't close the... Apparently we needed to put dolls, uh, sorry, dolls, not dolls. Oh, Undistracted Pixie, hello. Uh, you are not late. One, one is never late or early to this stream. One simply says the password and enters. Uh, and the password is... Toilet. See, now I feel wrong because maybe I'll just give these people uh, two bedrooms if I can afford it. Uh, let's move. Uh, I don't know why the game's saying that you can't find a kitchen, but whatever. We'll put the door there. And now at least it's the game saying that there is... You are not late, young lady. You are early. Speak friend and enter. Alright. Uh, bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Let's do the bathroom. Uh, let's start with the shower cabin. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Uh, they want green for the walls. I guess they want to, even though they live in New York City, they want to be reminded that they're maybe in the forest or something like that. So that sounds nice and swanky. That sounds nice and swanky, swanky, swanky. And a little pooper for the whooper. There we go. And uh, I feel a standard sink is 
fine, but I guess we'll give them something nice. Why not? Why not? As long as it's not blocking the toilet, because that would be awkward. Toilet brush. Let's put it here. And of course, <laughs> but who could forget buying toilet paper for your <laughs> tenants? That's just... I mean, I guess I'm not... These people aren't my tenants. I'm just renovating their house. But I'm pretty sure it's not part of anyone's agreement to ever say like, you know what, this house missing is missing? Toilet paper. Oh, I love this property, but... You know... It's just missing that sweet, sweet toilet paper. At least if it had a bidet. You guys know bidet? Do you guys know about that? How very European. Okay, and we'll make this the kitchen, I guess. Let's give them a fridge. And a cooker. A cooker. Oh, they want laminated floors for the kitchen? Well. Uh, I think we're done. I mean I, I would like to though I'm gonna get I'm gonna give these people another bedroom. It annoys me that uh, I feel these people need another bedroom. Let's put it there. Uh, and let's give them a nice poster. Who doesn't want some friendship letters? I think that's great. And in this room, we're also going to put a little painting up here of Mona Lisa. You know, nothing says you are uh, an artsy, craftsy uh, intellectual when you have neon Japanese lettering in one room and then a Mona Lisa painting in another. I think that's just neat. Finish. Deliver job. We're done. I don't care what this person thinks. We're moving on. Oh. We lost a tenant. Well, it's a good thing because she was cooking meth in her house and we don't approve of that. Uh, even though we are the wife of a drug lord, but uh, time to find a new tenant, I guess. Time to manage my properties. Uh, Oh man, I need to pay some bills because I'm I'm a running low. Uh, ooh, uh. Oh, we got a four star review. Not bad. Oh god. I need to Oh, I don't want to purchase that. I don't have the money. I need to go back to my properties. I need to go to my properties and... Uh... Where do I go? I keep forgetting this. Where do I go to check my house? My house. Where is my house? Uh, why can't I go to my house? I don't want to purchase that. I want to go rent my house. Uh, drums, am I part of the mob in this game? Well, my name is Mrs. Mafia, so... One doesn't ask about the Mafia. Now, does if one's smart, they don't talk too much about the Mafia. Uh, 
Unless you're inquiring to join the gang, and then there. Okay, I really want to rent my house. I don't want to purchase that. I want to go. Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we can do it. Uh, let us begin an open house. Let's see what we're gonna get. What do you think, my lady? Uh, let's do a little. Oh, personality type alcoholic. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you don't like it? Get out. You know, we really need to talk about something that is very important, and I mentioned it before. This guy's an athlete. Let's do a background check on him. Uh, occupation mobster okay well that actually would be hey, you don't like it get out <laughs> okay he's not a criminal we're gonna I don't know uh, let's negotiate with him oh he doesn't like the apartment at all then screw him, get out of here. Whoa! Get out! Leave oh, my house why? now or you'll die. Oh, personality type gamer. Man, what the heck is it with these personality types? Let's... <laughs> Another alcoholic, okay. Uh, let's do a background check on him, because he said he liked something. Uh, what's the problem right. here? You got some noisy tenants here. Reprimand them or there will be consequences. Screw you. Cut them some slack. For Thanks for nothing, asshole. Hey, I will kill you. All right. All right. Oh, oh this guy likes it. <laughs> Who's filling this house? Uh, he doesn't like the house that much, so... Who likes the house the most? We got a gamer here. He doesn't like the house either. And this guy is kind of... Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll get the athlete guy. Let's go for that. Oh, let's go for 60 guys. Bump it up. Okay, we'll accept that. And now he lowered it, bastard. <laughs> oh my god, he keeps dropping it. And I can't... Ugh. No. Alright. 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 Alright, let's accept it, fine. Fine, we have a new tenant. Hey! How's it going, Mrs. Mafia? I will try not to bother you too much. Cheers, Olive Wag Oliver Wagner. I'm an athlete, although I look like an old man. Maybe I took too many protein shakes. Oh, <laughs> apparently one of our tenants uh, is uh, been in jail for uh, robbing some stuff. But that's okay. Everyone deserves a second chance. And as you know, the criminal justice system is overrun and it needs a huge revamp. So... Alright, Uncle Farters, do your thing! Ah. You know, there's a problem in this United States when you know you're 75 years old and you still can't retire and you have to clean houses for a living. This is why we need the proper welfare system. We're not gonna get it, I guess. Well, I guess my job's here's done. Bye, everybody. Respect your elders and whatnot. All right. Ooh, look at all these things we have here. 
So we got bedroom, bedroom, uh, bedroom, 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 kitchen. Da, 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 da. Gosh, where to start? Uh, I like the idea. Yeah, let's make a kitchen here, bedroom, bathroom. Or actually, no, let's make kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. Uh, let's start with our favorite, the bathroom, of course. Uh, let's get some swanky floors. Oh, yeah. Uh, red walls. Gosh, I, I really don't know how I feel about red walls for a bedroom. I just think it's so aggressive. You go to the bathroom, you want to be in a zen space, not like a... You know... Especially with the fancy bathtub like this. Apparently they want a fancy bathtub. And they want and they shall get. Look at that. That's a jacuzzi more than a freaking bathtub. Boy, aren't these people fancy. I want a jacuzzi too. But I can't afford one. And they probably need a, a nicer sink. Let's... Let's get a nice sink. Oh, now it's blocking the toilet. And... A toilet paper, of course, of course. And the plunger, yes sir. Who doesn't want a plunger? And a towel rack. Oh my, but of course. Here. And a washing machine. Oh god. You don't put... Who puts their washing machine and their uh, laundry... Well, the laundry basket I can accept that it's in the bedroom. But really, a washing machine in the bathroom? That's not common, I don't think. Or is it? I don't know. My washing machine's in the basement where all the cucarachas live. Uh, where are we gonna put this basket? That's a good question. I don't know if there will be space here. Maybe there will be. Oh, and the t I thought I already bought a toilet brush. Do they need two toilet brushes? What? Must be quite the poopers. If they need two, there it is. <laughs> Not that I think anyone actively chooses to. Uh, they seem like they're a little bit maybe old fashioned with that clock on the wall and stuff. Let's put the clock right over their heads. So that when the clock strikes seven, it's time to wake up. Uh... Actually, I don't think the bed can be there, actually, because they want the television. Hmm. But maybe... Maybe we can actually make it work. Let's move that over there. Hardwood floors, aren't they fancy? Do you guys have hardwood floors? Or do you have carpet? In this house, the kitchen is hardwood and then the rest is carpet. But I prefer hardwood, personally. It just... There's a certain je ne sais quoi. Also, I just prefer it. All right, uh, television. I think we need something to put television on. Like a little stand or something. I don't know why they don't have... Uh, oh, they do have it, but... Let's put that there. Uh, apparently you can't it blocks the bed now why would that there's clearly enough space to pass uh, 
No, apparently not enough space. Ugh. I wanted to be nice to these people and give them a freaking little... Let me guess, if I put the television there, it probably won't work either, huh? Why can't I put the television on the wall? You know what? They're just gonna have to deal with the television on the ground. They're gonna have to watch their... Uh, they're gonna have to watch The Bachelorette before they get frisky. Um, in the... In the, on the floor. You know, some people, I don't know if there's big bachelor and bachelorette fans out there, but apparently some people live vicariously through it. And just to give them motivation, a pixel beach painting, that sounds wonderful. And you know what? Because I'm feeling fun, let's give them a Miami painting as well. You know what they say? Oh, honey, why can't you be more like, I don't know. Uh, oh, 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 we need, hold up. We put a bedroom and a bathroom, but there's also a second bedroom and a kitchen, which, uh, where are we going to put the second bedroom again? I need to build some walls. Mm, yep, I guess I do. Unless they want it as an open space. Okay. Let's do this. Let's make a bedroom here. And we'll have this space for the kitchen. We're going to try that and just see how it works. Okay, they want a bunk bed for the bedroom. Uh, must be chill. I never slept in a bunk bed. Have any of you ever slept in a bunk bed? I feel that if I slept in a, bank, a bunk bed, I don't know, I worry that I would get vertigo and fall during the night. Hmm, what's this? I don't want to get them dead. That. Uh, oh man, how am I gonna fit a desk? And <laughs> we're gonna have to move the bed over here. Uh, still not enough space. Rotate. Uh, let's give them a... Eh, I don't know that they deserve a gamer chair. Uh, a distracted pixie, you lived in a bunker bed. How? What was that like? Did you enjoy it? Uh, Liebe hat bonsoir, actually. Wait, it might be morning for you, but it's definitely bonsoir here. Yeah. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, bon nuit. Le bon nuit, mon ami. Le bon ami, mon, mon ami. Liebe hat. Uh, comment ça va? Uh, ça va bien. Uh, ça va bien. Oh, let's put a LOL painting. Kids love that. Kids love their emojis and stuff, so that's gonna make them happy, I see. Distracted uh, Pixie, you had a dog that slept in your bed and then you ended up getting rid of it. Getting rid of the bunker bed or the dog? <laughs> this needs clarification. Which one are you talking about? Uh, the answer may surprise you. Where am I going to put... I guess we'll make this into a kitchen. I don't know. You know what they say, kitchen sink, bye. Uh, 
uh, actually let's do this. I like the idea of having the kitchen sink by the window. So we'll move the fridge. We'll move the fridge over here. A motivational poster. Dream big, of course. Sometimes you just gotta dream big, everybody. Liberati, you're a pineapple, what? Uh, you're a pineapple? That was surprising. Uh, Samantha, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, really appreciate you uh, giving a follow. And thank you for uh, hanging out. I hope to see you again. Uh, at the time and place of your choosing, of course. But, uh... I'll be seeing ya! Aha! Uh... Where the heck am I gonna put the kitchen cabinet in this small space? I guess, you know what, this is just gonna have to do everybody. Just gonna have to do it. Nothing like a floral pattern to really brighten up the place. Uh, distracted pigs, you got rid of the bunk bed. Okay, the dog lived until he was almost 16. That's wonderful. What was your pup's name? A liberate, you're surprised. I knew that. Haha. <laughs> but I am always surprising you. I'm a Full of surprises today. Full of surprises. J'y parle français. Et, et j'y. J'aime le fromage. Le fromage! <laughs> Green and pink or purple on the floor. That seems. It's a taste, I think. Wait. What the heck is a easel? I don't know what that is. You know what? I think this is done. Enjoy, peasants. Uh, let's talk with Ruben. Oh, he's left. Wait, what? <laughs> How dare you call me asshole? I'm gonna kick you out of my house right now, you peasant. Because I didn't... F you know, in my day, we didn't have heaters. You fool! Let me do... Let me show what I'm gonna do to you. Get out of here, peasant! Go to hell! I will kill you. Another four star. What's it with me and the four stars? I haven't gotten a five star in like forever. All right, let's manage our properties. Gotta get someone in here. Let's start the open house. Leaflets, start the event. The cheese! But distracted pixie, what was the name of the pup? Was it cheese? What? <gasps> uh, Liberat, you started playing Smash and you just found out that... Uh... Oh, Occupation Mobster? Let's negotiate with her. Let's wait for her to do some more. Uh, stuff. Let's see. <laughs> Mobster. Athlete. Butcher. Oh no, sorry, that's his personality. He's a cashier. He seems to like the house. Let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to bump it up a little bit. See what happens. Man. Fine, I'll lower it a little bit for you. How about that? 
Yeah. Uh, let's lower it. I'll lower it a little bit more for you. All right. We'll accept that. Now we got two of the same characters. Uh, um, Liberat Wesker would be a, a good character for Smash. If they add any Resident Evil characters for Smash, it will probably be either Leon or Chris, I'm afraid to say. They added Kazuya from Tekken for Smash and, you know. What else? We need to find some Josh. And I'm gonna get rid of that guy. I'm gonna whack him. Uh, Bullwinkle is a great pit bull. Will Bullwinkle was the great nom name for a dog. Was it a? I'm assuming he was a pit bull. Such sweet pups that don't get. Uh, what? Listen up, I've got a situation here with a leaky pipe or something. The water is spraying out of control. Can you do something about it? Uh, yeah, we'll send in a pro. I need Josh. I need Josh. Uh, a proper parting space for a group of friends. Yeah, but of course we are going to do that. Oh man, this is huge. Oh, uncle. Oh, God. Must I truly do this? Must I truly do this? Oh, my sweet niece, you're such a terrible person, though. Making your... Poor uncle with his bad deck to this. Uh, Liberat, you got a pit bull as well? Wow. I don't have pups yet. But maybe soon. Uh, he was a red nose and the biggest baby. That sounds like a very sweet pup. I'm glad you guys had some friends or have some friends you know a dog or a cat any any cat really damn it uncle you failed you fool get that out of there you know you could use a u-haul um, pets can just bring so much joy i think in people's lives totally worth it that's what i think uh, let's try and restore that. Let's see if he can do it. He's gonna try. He failed again. It's because he has a bad back. I learned all my skills on YouTube. I guess that tutorial on how to build your own shelf will really never work out because IKEA sucks. Get out of here, Uncle. You've done your part. You've done your part. You've done your part. Boo! Why, hello! Boo! How be you? Um, how is... Oh, by the way, Boo, I wanted to ask you something. Would it be cool if I posted the drawing that I did for you uh, in the... Oh, we're building a mat lab. There we go. Would it be cool if I posted it on Instagram sometime next week or something? Would you be okay with that? Good. Good that you've sent me your money. 
Uh, all right, we're gonna try and do this, although I do not approve of the drug labs. But you know what? You gotta get paid. I gotta get paid. To be fair, I don't even know. That's probably not the best place to put it in. Let's put it here. I don't know that I have enough space here to, to put all this stuff. That's outside, which is not useful. Uh, how am I gonna fit all this stuff here? Uh, Rossaneri coming in and Landlords lacking respect for the elders. Well, the problem is that this elder is my uncle and he works for me. So he has to do a good job. Uh, Boo, thank you so much. Then I will do it. I shall do it. Uh, add Daniela to my portfolio thing. All right. They want a table to do their drugging, I guess. They want a table to do their drugging. This is how you know I myself am an hardcore drug consumer because <laughs> I refer to the activity of consuming drugs as drugging. And you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, they want barrels. Which is very interesting to me that uh, they want one, two, three, Oh god, that chair is blocking the way. Their chair is blocking the way, everybody. Let me finish the walls first. Yes, nothing says we make drugs in this house. There's yellow walls. This game is very edgy when you think about it. I love this game. <laughs> But I don't know that uh, building drug labs and describing someone's personality as alcoholic is correct. We might have to offer uh, some um, where can I put this table so that it will fit? Let me put it here just for a second. This is going to be a really tight fit. Um, let's put the chair in the corner. And let's try and bring the barrels closer to each other maybe. That might work. That work. They're not accepting the chair. How wonderful. Uh, how about if we put the chair like this? Is he gonna accept it? Nope. Ugh. Oh my life. Where am I gonna put this freaking chair? How is the chair still, the access is still being blocked? That makes no sense, hombre. Maybe if I move this forward a little bit and push this one a little closer. Maybe. There's definitely enough room for the chair now. No, now the table is, oh God. Oh God. This is uh, frustrating. Oh, 
Okay, now that room's done. Okay. Let's go for the manufacturing hall. For the illegal substances. Sounds great. I guess it's this space right here, huh? I guess it's this floor right here. Who knew that I would be doing the hard crimes today on this day? Uh, what else? What else? What else? One there, one there. You know, I'm assuming that the ending of this game involves somehow you like owning the entire city, I guess. <sighs> Let's get the gas bottle. And the illegal substances. Oh man, this is prime co Colombian cocaine. We got ourselves a Breaking Bad situation here. <laughs> and a safe. That doesn't look like a safe, but sure. Why not? Hey man, the cops are coming for us. Stop it. Uh, we need two tables. I don't know that I have enough room for two tables. Let's give them the crappiest, cheapest tables because, you know. Actually, probably now that I think about it, I can probably put the drugs. <laughs> I can probably put the drugs on top of the table. Yeah. There you go. Don't do drugs, everybody. Not good. Okay, we need another table, which I don't know where I'm going to fit it, but... We will try. Uh, this table is not gonna fit. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, apparently they consider it to work. Okay, let me actually move stuff. Let me move this table here. I'm gonna move the save into this corner. Move the gas bottle over here. And we're going to try and put the tables uh, side by side. I do not support the use of drugs. I do not endorse this. I mean, if you want to smoke some bud for your bud, that's one thing. I don't do it, but I respect it. But harder stuff? I don't know. I don't know, everybody. I love the idea that a bunch of mobsters are gonna come in this house to make their drugs. And their concern is gonna be like, well, I don't think the walls match the carpet. You know, I just don't think so. Uh, apparently we need another gas bottle, which let's just put it there. And some more drugs. And the lap <laughs> close hanger, uh, which I guess we can put here in the corner if it fits. Probably won't, but maybe we'll. We're still missing a chair. Oh yeah, man, that's that Colombian stuff. You know what? It's just gonna have to do. Probably they won't accept it. No, they accepted it. The game accepted it. Okay, I guess we're done here. No more drugs for us. <laughs> Let's bail out before the cops come for Mrs. Mafia. Let's see who our drug lord master is. Uh, look at that guy. 
He's totally a guy who plays golf on the weekends, but you know... Um, you know that he's actually, you know... Um, time to remind you politely that it's time to pay up. I've noticed you still haven't paid this week's rent. All right, let's see. Yeah, you gotta pay up, fool. <laughs> uh, uh, Liberat, you're an undercover cop. Oh my god. <laughs> but you're not in my country, so you can't catch me. Although, as an immigrant, I probably can't have any... <laughs> Bad records on my track, otherwise I'll be deported or something. Uh, Please, Mr. Liberat, sir, I was joking. I never... Why, I never even touched a joint in my life. And that's true. Uh, Boo, are we sure this isn't a drug dealer simulator? Uh, actually... Uh... <laughs> Sure, we'll upgrade your internet, dude. Why not? Although I don't think it falls to the landlord's responsibility to <laughs> get you better Wi-Fi, I don't think. Um, we have a lot of money. We could probably go and buy another property. Uh, I could, I could own another house. Oh, there it is. Let's go see what that is. Uh, oh, that's too expensive. There used to be another property that was just like... Um... Yeah, these houses are too expensive. No wonder as millennials can't get a house. Uh... Look at the freaking prices for this. I think I asked this before, but is there anyone on sh in the chat that actually owns a house? Good. Uh, cash flow $10 a month. Why the heck am I only getting $10 from this guy? Unless it's like piling up, maybe. He did just pay his rent, so maybe that's why. Uh... Where can we get some more jobs? Uh, Liberat, you will soon enough. Well, that's wonderful. And Boo, you do not. Esports player. Oh, I want to go. I want to go fix up the house of the esports player. Let's go do that. Uh, this house is for distracted pixie. I get. I guess. I guess this house is for distracted pixie because she's the professional um, Overwatch player now, so we're gonna fix it up. We're gonna fix it up. Yes, we are. Oh, I think I think we need to give distracted pixie a swanky wall pattern that will help with the, whenever she's streaming. Whenever she's doing her gaming streams, the background people will be like, Wow, distracted Pixie, you sure have nice decor. That's right. That's right, we got a pro player here. We got a pro. We got a pro. Gamer alert. <laughs> we do have to buy a game, which is appropriate, I guess. Let's go with a salmon colored bed. We need a good wall space for the gaming to happen. But I don't think I don't think most streamers want their bed to be seen while they're streaming. Maybe some do. I'm gonna say probably not in this situation though. Okay, an anime figure. <laughs> 
Maybe this house isn't distracted Pixie's house after all. Maybe it's someone else's house. <laughs> I hate that I have to put these things in the house. But it's a requirement. I have no choice. Let's put it by the... Actually, let's look it, have it look out the window. That seems appropriate. Oh, you you This house is for a new founded pro league or no damage Resident Evil runs. I don't think there's such a thing for a pro league, but maybe there is. Maybe we can start our own. Okay, a wall lamp. A wall light bulbs, let's do that. We need some good gamer lighting for uh, these. Although apparently you can't put it up. Uh, let's put some there. And let's put some more here for the gamers. And <laughs> yes, we do need a television, which you need a good screen for streaming games, I guess. So let's go with a flat screen. And we need a video game console. Okay, which one do you guys want? You can, well, do you want the Wii console? Do you want the future console? Do you want the Play X console? Or do you want the retro console? Distracted Pixie, it's your pick. You go for it. You pick which one you want and you'll get it. Oh, you'll get it. Fighting Orange game and Dino Hop game. Hmm. I feel Distracted Pixie will be more of a Dino Hop game. I know she doesn't like platformers, but the other one's a fighting game and I don't think Distracted Pixie's a fan. Uh, the first cheapest after the Wii? Okay. <laughs> we'll give you the cheapest. The future console. Although, I want to put a desk or something here, like, it's not a requirement, but... <laughs> it's not a requirement, but I feel we need a desk. So, let's go look at some... Uh... Let's go look at some office furniture, maybe. I don't know why before they... Sometimes they give me the option of having a desk in the bedroom, but now they're not. Uh, I feel we need a computer desk or something for the... Yeah, let's get an office desk from Ikea or Distracted Pixie, of course. We'll put it here and we'll put the television on top and we'll put the gaming console here in the floor and the video game can be here. Uh, You know, the Wii sold very, very well, so that's something that... We need another game? Two games? Dare I say it? Okay, we'll get two games. Uh, let's put... Look, this house is for Distracted Pixie. She does like to paint, so let's put a little... Let's put something for her to paint. And then... Something tells me that's very exp that piano is very expensive. Uh, let's put a dartboard as well. If I wait, am I over budget already? <laughs> am I over budget? I'm a little over. No, I still have money. Uh, I still have money. Uh, let's put the decorations. Oh, let's put the stay cool, of course. Of course, stay cool. 
Um, let's put some Japanese saying as well right here. Oh yeah. Let's put some Japanese saying there. And zombie muffins, of course. Gosh, why didn't I think of that before? Let's put that there as well. Man. And are there any terror aside from zombie muffins? Uh, terror posters. Like, is there any vampire posters that we can give Distracted Pixie? Uh, Karakan Twins. Uh, that's not spooky. House Flipper poster. Why not? That looks creepy enough. Yeah. Oh, man. This is like the best room I've built. Preferred furniture, a fan, which I don't know where I to find. Oh, wait, no, that's a clock. I don't know where the fans are, so <laughs> we're gonna finish it. Gamer room ready. Yeah. Um. Distracted PC, much like in real life, the only thing you really own are in your room. Well, what else does one need? You know? I think... You know... This generation is learning that <laughs> you only need a room to serve. Uh, we only got a 3 star from that, really? Damn! I really put my heart into that house. I'm very disappointed by that. Oh man. These dudes need to pay up their stuff. Um, we need to negotiate? What? Oh, he's doing yoga? Let's negotiate the least extension for a profit. What? I don't want a profit of $10. I'll kick him out of the house before I do that. No, dude. I need way more than that. No, we gotta kick this guy out. Oh no! Uncle, fix it, please! We put the gamer system. We put the future gamer system there. <laughs> Rasanir, you've been considering a gamer bucket? I mean, <laughs> you can. <laughs> If you wash it after every single use, technically you can use it for multiple things, it's true. I guess now I need to... Uh, this... I don't know how the game... I must have not been paying attention because I can't believe I was only getting a profit of $10 in one of the houses. That's absurd. I'm all for being a kind soul, but... Mama needs her money. Uh... Oh, we can be an agent. Let's see. Stop it with the personality type alcoholic. How many people have this personality type as alcoholic? Uh, she's a mobster. No, she's an alcoholic as well. Man, the people in this town have a big issue because, like, <laughs> I swear, half of them have uh, an alcoholic personality or a gamer personality. So. <laughs> You can't. Uh, alcoholic as well. Alcoholic. Alcoholic. And satisfying, so we're gonna ask her to leave. Whoa! I said I told you to leave. No. He's unsatisfied. Ask to leave. Yes. Get out of here, guest. It was okay living in your apartment. Goodbye. Screw you, dude. You were paying. I had a profit of $10. Uh, we should negotiate with this person. Let's go with this. Hmm. Okay, I'll lower it a little bit. I'll lower it. 
about that. We can we accept that. All right. Although this isn't my house, we're just negotiating for someone else. Hey, time to pay up your bills. Um. Yeah. All right. Do you realize just how long you haven't paid your bills for? I will start charging you extra from now on. Screw you. How does this guy there talk to the mafia lord like that? We're gonna whack our property manager. We're gonna whack them. Okay, I need to find someone for my own house, actually. Um... Start the open house. Let's put it on the newspaper. Let's see what we got. <laughs> requirements. <laughs> so there's an actual open house that says requirements. No mobster. <laughs> Preferences. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought I rented this house. This is fine. Fine. If it's unsatisfying, you can get your sweet butt out of here. How are things going in my house? This guy seems to like it. Let's negotiate. Mm, let's go for this. Okay, I'll lower it a little bit for you. Yeah, we'll accept that. Congratulations, George, you have a new house. Oh, his name is Austin, never mind. Hi, Austin. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I thought I had made that house arrangement. That sucks. Uh oh, here comes an earthquake, man. This. Oh, no. Well, time to send in good old uncle to fix the place. That's not good. I mean, actually, are we living in San Francisco now or something? Are we going to have a tsunami next? Because I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We've been having a lot of property damage from earthquakes <laughs> in this game session. And I, for one, don't like it. I don't like it one bit, everybody. Fixing some cracks, fixing some cracks. Uncle Farters, fixing up the butt cracks. Well, what? You know, this ain't funny because I actually have hemorrhoids and those are quite painful on the butt cracks. I say that it's ages to make fun of that. All right, fixed all the butt cracks, time to go. Another job completed for dear Uncle Fartus. Thank you, Uncle. Oh, let's, you have another job, Uncle. We'll fix some other stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna clean up my cracks. Fixing up my cracks. Uh, an elite job. Ooh, I want it. Fixing up some cracks. That's what Uncle Fartus does best. Here I go to pick up with some cracks. Man, I do feel bad for our uncle sometimes because we do overwork the poor man. And he's definitely in an age that he should be retired and like living his best life, not doing these things. But uh, oh, oh no! Uh, yes, let's negotiate with him while he's in the toilet. That seems appropriate. 
<laughs> you will not be able to resist. Yeah, lower it a little. Okay, that's a little better. How about that? How about that? We'll accept that. We'll accept that. Yeah, go to sleep while you think about giving me a higher rent money, you fool! You fell for my trap. Ah, you're fine. Oh boy, a boathouse. Oh no. Oh, uncle! It sure is nice that I have a teleportation device that helps me to go everywhere I want in the city. Would you guys ever own a boathouse, do you think? I don't know. I don't think I'd ever own a boat, even if I could afford one. It seems like it's a really complicated thing to... Good job renovating that, uncle. I feel the expenses of maintaining and keeping a boat... Obviously, I'm a peasant. I can't afford it. But I'm just saying, like, it's probably... Uh... Let's remove some mold. Probably not worth it because you'd only use the boat ever so often and it's probably not easy to maintain. So, yeah, something tells me it's not worth it. Distracted pixie, water scares you? So, are you not a swimmer then? Uh, uh, Liberat, <laughs> like distracted pixie, you also don't like the ocean. What you guys got against the ocean? There's so many wonderful things in the ocean, like dolphins, and sharks, and plastic. You know. Sailor Amok. Okay, apparently, oh. I know what this house is for. In the Navy. You wanna meet your fellow man in the Navy. Uh, you gotta try the best that you can. Oh, in the Navy. Oh, in the Navy. By the way, I ain't judging. It gets lonely out there in the sea. <laughs> sure, let's throw some alcohol in there so that, you know, that will help loosen them up, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Let's actually move these beds a little closer. Just a little closer. Oh, that's too close. Let's put it there. Uh, oh, we need a bunch more barrels. Let's get another big barrel. Keep that beer flowing. Oh, Liberat, you got stung by a jellyfish when you were a little child? Well, I'm sorry about that. That's obviously no fun. We're gonna put this... Um, right here by the window we're gonna put the spyglass by the window because of course uh, and let's put a treasure chest where the sailors keep all their special toys I guess <laughs> and a little bell for you know whenever another sailor arrives they can ring the door they, they can ring the bell so, so they know it's all hands on deck. All hands on deck. Oh, we need to move that. Um, distracted piece, you can swim, but more in the ocean. You woke up and you decided you had an irrational fear of drowning. I understand that. I can understand that. I like swimming myself. When I went on my vacation, I got to swim a little bit. 
in the ocean and I admit it made me feel very happy. Now that's a terrible brown color. Doesn't feel very beachy to me. All right. I feel this, I feel they're missing something. You know what I think they're missing? I know exactly what they're missing. This. Why, hello there, sailor. Hello there, sailor. You know, for all the stuff about mermaids, you never hear about a male, a merman, luring uh, sailors into the sea. It's always mermaids, always, you know. And I think that's unfair. I think that's a little unfair. <laughs> but I think this anime poster is just what they need to, you know. You know, yeah, no, it makes sense in this house. The core is perfect, so let's deliver the job. Oh, here's the captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Look, he even has a parrot on his uh, shoulder, so you know this guy means business. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, look, he loves the anime figure. He loves it. You know what that means. Uh... Yes. Come on, man. Give me a five-star rating. I could really use it, man. Um, Boo, you don't know how to swim? Well, there's always time to learn if you want to. But you don't have to. Yeah, we got a five-star. All right, everybody. Good job. We got a five-star. I knew that anime figure would really <laughs> help sell this boat house. We did it. Man, we really need to increase our monthly cash flow by a lot. But I think this is a good time to pause the game and maybe we could chat for a little bit. Maybe we could chat for a little bit. I don't know. Let's talk about both houses. Uh, we just got money. Thank you very much. Oh, I do appreciate that. This game auto saves, right? Oh, I do want to send some feedback actually. I'm gonna send some feedback to the game. I know they're doing it for laughs, but... Nothing funny about being an alcoholic, so I'm gonna say... Hey. No, hello. I don't think... Being... An alcoholic... I don't think being an alcoholic is a personality trait. It's a serious issue. And people need help to overcome it. Thank you. hope you consider this. How about instead of alcoholic, we say... How about instead of alcoholic, you say... Uh, party person. So let's call this an idea. Oh, actually, no, let's call it party animal. That's 
Yeah. And we will end with thank you. How about that? Sand. They'll probably think I'm an alcoholic myself, but I feel it's important to do these things. I know it's played for laughs, but being an alcoholic can be a serious issue, everybody. And I feel it's good to point that out for them. Okay, I think we are done here for today. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> let me turn on, let me switch to just chatting. Yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do, Liberat, that's right. I gotta, uh... Wow, hello, everyone, here I am. Uh, here I am after doing my uh, review of the tenant I love this game it's a wonderful game it's a very funny game <laughs> but I swear uh, actually let me close the game so that my camera doesn't lag as much mm, I think that's better I think that's better uh, but as I was saying this game is a wonderful game very fun game Times for some mood lighting. Ah, ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, very fun game, but <laughs> I swear that every character in this game, they list their personalities as either being alcoholic, gamer, or athlete. And I don't think for one. <laughs> that those definitions, you can't define a person by a single personality trait, I don't think. And I don't think being a gamer, well, I don't think saying it, that you're a gamer is like part of your personality. It's something that you like, but I don't think, definitely you can say an alcoholic is a personality trait. <laughs> you either die a gamer or live long enough to be an alcoholic. Problem is, is that I'm pretty sure there are gamers who are alcoholic. It's a tough world out there. Especially if you're a type of like uh, internet person. Uh, I feel that <laughs> the path lays before you for that to happen, I guess. But I don't think you can... Let's have a philosophical discussion. Let's have a philosophical discussion about... Is being a gamer a personality trait or not? Like, um, to be fair, again, like in terms of jobs, people are either mobsters, cashiers, or they work like in a supermarket here. Yeah, I don't think being a gamer is a part of your personality. It's just something that you do for enjoyment, right? Like I wouldn't I definitely wouldn't consider being a gamer personality trait in my opinion. Like that's that's my opinion, you know. Well, it can be a hobby unless you do it professionally, of course. Um but I guess the amount of people that play games professionally is very limited. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, you can play a sport for fun. Or you can play it professionally, but the percentage is very small. I would say it's a hobby for most people, for certain. Certainly, if it's something that you do to pass the time for fun, then it's a hobby, right? Uh like, I feel people make being a gamer part of the 
their personality but is that making it part of their personality or is it more about appearance you know like people want to present themselves in a certain way like the gamer the gamer uh, title and people might present themselves in a way that like helps uh kind of push that out there and show that they're a gamer, but it's still not a personality trait, I don't think. This is a very interesting discussion like that I think deserves uh, a deeper analysis. You know, like I like to play video games and I might say I'm a gamer for fun, but I wouldn't say being a gamer is part of my personality. You know, it's just something I like doing. You know, now there might be elements in video games that might match with my personality, I think, you know. Um, Like if I like to solve mysteries and crimes or I like, well, but again, if I say that I like something like a murder mystery, is that part of my personality or is it just something I like? You know, I'm getting like, my mind is getting like, (laughs) it's clearly the end of the day, but. Uh, Liberat, when you were in high school, you knew people that wouldn't talk about anything aside from video games, like their world was video games. Yeah, but I just don't think you can turn to someone and be like, oh, your personality is gamer, you know, like, I don't know, being arrogant is a personality trait, being confident is a personality trait, Uh, being a nervous person is a personality trait, you know. Being anxious is a personality trait, but being a gamer is not a personality trait. It's just something that you can probably you start doing as a hobby because you enjoy it. And then, yeah, you can do it professionally or you can do it for like. But it's still not part of your personality, I don't think. Boo, uh, it's just something you like because of a potential personality trait. Intuitive, is that the word? Uh <laughs> This is these are all very valid questions. I feel we've stumbled upon a very interesting discussion, I think. Uh Liberat, um you don't think it's a personality trait, it's more like people want it to be a personality trait. Uh that's an interesting point because I feel that when people describe themselves as gamers, a lot of time it can be something that's considered exclusive. Like, uh, you know, you need to play a certain amount or be a certain way and do certain things or play a certain amount of games or know a, cer- or know a certain amount of games in order to be called a gamer. But I feel that's a little bit of an elitist, sorry, elitist statement that's meant to exclude people who consider themselves gamers and part of gaming culture versus people who might just play games very casually, you know, like. And that's, again, why I have a problem, I guess, with the label gamer. If it's said not in a fun way, like I can say hello gamers, but it's kind of meant as a tongue in cheek type of thing. It's not meant as like, oh, I acknowledge you, my fellow gamers, you know, they're part of part of a group. Because even if someone's playing a video game very casually, they're gaming. So at that precise moment, I guess they're a gamer. So, yeah, I think that falls into a category of like, um, you know, 
I think it backtracks to the fact that for the longest time and even now, video games were considered not mainstream at all. I still don't think they're considered mainstream per se, at least not from, again, an elitist, elitist perspective. Uh, you know, obviously there would be a lot of people that would look down on platforms like Twitch or YouTube or just someone playing video games for a living professionally as part of a esports team or whatever. There's always going to be people who look down on those things. Uh, and I think that the gaming, uh, the gamer title, the gamer title came kind of like as an, uh, a defense against that, where obviously you find people who have who enjoy playing video games as well. And it's kind of like you bond together and you form your own exclusive group, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Ross and Yuri Gaming is your escape from reality. That's, that's a fair point, I guess. Although I'd be curious about what type of video games you play because I feel a lot of games these days, I think feature messages, even if it's not really out there, I feel like they feature messages that are meant to make you pause and think and reflect some of uh, things that are happening in the real world, which I think is good in a way because I think it's a social responsibility that way. Um, And I think that that's uh, a fair point. Of course, you can play a game that doesn't necessarily have any type of moral code or like there's no moral to the story or no proper plot line. And then, yeah, I guess you can consider that an escape. Uh, Liberat, um, games that have hit mainstream like Fortnite and Among Us, uh, and even to an extent, Call of Duty. Yeah, but are they really for uh, mainstream? Like, I get that, obviously, Fortnite. I don't know that Among Us would fit in the same category because I feel that there was a trend. Like, that's like a, what? A, there was a, what, a three-month tr trend? I don't think it's as popular anymore. But even, like, games like Fortnite, I feel if it's appears on mainstream news or something like that, it's going to be played kind of like as a joke or in a condescending way. Like if, uh, let's say that there's this big Fortnite tournament. I don't follow Fortnite, so I really don't know. But, um, or any other big multiplayer game that there's a big tournament and someone wins a prize of a million dollars or something like that. Oh boy. <laughs> drums thank you for resubscribing i appreciate it you came right at the time that we're having this <laughs> interesting discussion i guess uh but thank you so much nothing breaks my line of thought as le hearing leon's cremada i guess <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah leon just came in and just broke my my line of thinking but it's true um i feel that even very popular games that, uh, well, I don't want to say everyone knows because there would there's obviously a lot of people out there who don't know what Fortnite is. But even people who might have heard of it, I think they would play it kind of as a joke. You know, if you see some guy who doesn't necessarily look like a professional athlete or whatever, and if they found out that guy made... I don't know, $50,000 by winning a tournament for a video game, I feel that person's going to be a little bit ridiculed by mainstream news. Even though it's totally, it's no different than any other sport. I mean, if you think about it, all the other sports, professional sports, you're still just watching grown men and women play something that everyone can play for fun. So it's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> You can't, you can't really, it's all just a bunch of bull, but it's kind of ironic how things uh, actually end up working that way. Drums, are you even there? Are you hiding drums? Um, and you extended it through September too. That's a long time commitment. 
I appreciate the value uh, or the trust. I do appreciate it, but um, I don't know. This is very interesting to talk about. I think I think we need to start having a corner in these streams where it's called uh, the real talk corner, the real talk corner, where we discuss where we discuss the uh, philosophy and you know uh, morals of. Uh, society and the world and we have uh in-depth discussions on uh, what's happening maybe we should all start a podcast together how about it you know everyone has a podcast so why not why can't i start my own podcast um uh, Liberat, you're totally right that gaming is one of the fastest growing markets out there. I, I remember watching a documentary. Uh, I think it was on Netflix. It was about... Uh, Boo, you wait the sound of your voice. You're being too hard on yourself. Nobody, I don't think no one likes to hear their own voice. I mean, I'm the same way. I I would I don't like rewatching things where my voice plays. So, I understand that. But I see I feel a lot of people feel that way. But I was watching this documentary. I think it was on Netflix, and it's a documentary that's like six episodes or something. And it's it's a gaming documentary. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like it starts with like the early days of gaming, and then it, one of the things that I think one of the episodes is about esports. And they said in that documentary that if esports was considered like esports e uh, in comparison to all the other sports, I think it's the second biggest sport in the world right now behind soccer or football, I should say. I guess here in the United States is soccer for the rest of the world is football. And I think it's considered the second biggest uh sport just in terms of like people tuning in to watch tournaments and and yet it's definitely not i don't think it's considered mainstream because i could be wrong but you don't see the guys on espn or whatever having a esports segment maybe they do I, I very much doubt that they do though like yeah you might see twitch doing it and you have you know you enter twitch and there's all these broadcasters and stuff stuff um and yeah I, I think, you know, that's, I don't think that it's still considered like mainstream, even though it's becoming mainstream, especially with the younger generation, I think. Uh, drums, you're playing Crash Bandicoot. Cool. What Crash Bandicoot are you playing? Are you the latest one, the remake one, one to three? Uh, do let me know. I like Crash Bandicoot. I had them for my PlayStation a long time ago. Um, can't play them anymore, but I might one day get Crash Bandicoot 4 if it's on sale somewhere. That sounds fun. I would totally do that, you know? But yeah, so that's a very interesting discussion. I like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny to me that we uh, started by talking about... <laughs> I, we started by making by me writing a review for the tenant about how being an alcoholic is not a personality trait, <laughs> and we went full circle from that to talking about is being a gamer a personality trait, and then we tied it with is gaming considered a mainstream thing, and esports in general. And now we're going to talk about Crash Bandicoot. It's kind of funny how it goes full circle like that. Um, Liberat, you played Spyro the Dragon as a kid. I never played Spyro. Uh, I guess when Spyro came out, I guess I was just more into other games already, but Crash Team Racing is still probably one of my favorite all-time PlayStation games, you know, for the PS1. I love that game. It's like, it's up there. It's It's a great game. I recommend it. I still want to play Crash Team Racing that I have for the Nintendo Switch one day once I get a new computer and a new capturing device and I will play it because it's just a fun game and I would like to play it online with everybody. Um, 
Yeah. I do think the original game is better. I think that's part of nostalgia. I just remember that in the original, you could like, I would play as all the characters and create different names just to like try and beat the times of the previous player. And I would just name them out of like <laughs> cartoon shows that would air on television and stuff like that. Uh, drums, that sounds like a wonderful time to be playing Crash Insane Trilogy and Crash 4 and Sackboy uh, with some Crash Racing for extra fun. Seems to me, because it's already Saturday for you, that you're having a wonderful Saturday, aren't you? <laughs> Liberat, I should start a Discord server or something. I don't know what that is. I'm too old. And I don't know how to do that. Uh, no, I don't know how to manage a Discord server. That feels like a big responsibility. <laughs> And I worry that if I did that, people would just come in to ask me about the next Sonic the Hedgehog animation, I guess. And I'll join someone else's I'll I'll join someone else's Discord, but not create my own. I don't have the capacity to do that. I'm too dumb. Uh, and speaking of being dumb, dumb, I smell chocolate in the air. Hmm. I smell chocolate, which means it's time to go. Uh, it's time to end the stream, everybody. Uh, it's 8.35. It's time to have some dinner. I'm hungry. Um, but this was a very, this was a delightful stream. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in and uh, watching me or hearing me build some houses and decorating and being a t overall a terrible landlord or landlady because I am the landlady. And thank you for the interesting discussion at the very end of the stream. I think, like I said, it was a very philosophical debate and I appreciate it. So thank you very much for that as well. Um, what's left to say? Well, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your night slash morning if it's already morning time for you. Uh, play some video games, relax, take care of yourselves. Uh, rest up, and I will see you all. Rossaner is already asleep, which I think is a good time to go to bed. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>